Two students from Buruburu High, Girls High School are set to be arraigned over a fire incident at the school that occurred last week, leading to the admission of 59 students in hospital. The two are accused of planning and burning one of the cubicles on the 31st of October before running and leaving their colleagues for dead. This comes even as parents at the school complain over a directive issued by the school administration requiring them to pay 1,500 shillings to cater for the destruction caused by the inferno. Detectives investigating the fire incident at one of the dormitories at Buruburu High School when two girls who allegedly orchestrated the incident charged. Sources close to those investigating have intimated to Citizen TV that investigations led to the two who allegedly had planning to burn one of the cubicles and who were later seen leaving the scene before the fire erupted. Amateur videos captured students jumping from as high as the third floor following the inferno at the school. Detectives who have finished investigations into the incident are expected to forward the file to the Director of Public Prosecution who will advise on the charges or direct officers to conduct more investigations. Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has warned that all students involved in school arson attacks will face the law. That information is going to be on your record for the rest of your life. And the law does not allow you, even if you are uh, 10 years, to buy petrol and ban public property. If you want, go and ban your father's building. The Form 4 and Form 3 students are expected back in school on Monday, while their colleagues in Form 1 and Form 2 are expected back on Tuesday. A number of parents at the school have lamented the decision reached by the school management to have all students pay 1,500 shillings for damages incurred during the inferno. In text messages sent to Citizen TV, the parents are questioning how the figure was arrived at, while investigations are still ongoing. They argue that the damages incurred should not be shouldered by all parents. The school has a population of over 1,000 students. A meeting between the Board of Management and Parents and Teachers Association last Thursday came up with a number of resolutions. They include installation of CCTV cameras in the school, emergency exit doors open directly to the outside to be functional and checked regularly, floodlights to be installed to enhance security and safety, and removal of all cubicle doors to ease movement in case of emergencies. The burden of rebuilding schools has been placed on parents after the government said it will not help in reconstructing dormitories destroyed by school fires.